Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about the three stages of the ego. The birth, the thriving, and the awakening period of the ego. Now this is all important to all of you because uh, all of us believe or have believed that we have an ego. The next five minutes of this talk will change the way how you view yourself. Here is my claim. The ego is an illusion. Therefore, to believe in an illusion for some of us is like being hypnotized by a magician uh, in his show so splendid that you are stunned in your seat until you are awakened by a friend of yours. <laughs> so let's start with the first topic, the birth period of the ego. When you were born, you have no concept of language. So when you see something interesting, you will just point with your finger. That, 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 that. When you're hungry, you cry because there's no way you can explain I am hungry to your parents. There is no concept of I at all. Toddler refers to themselves in a third person view, like Ming is hungry rather than I am hungry, mom. Your parents at some point will start addressing you as you. They will say, you, come and sit here. You, eat your broccoli. And that's where the concept of I is developed. It's planted inside you. And therefore, it can be said that the, our parents are actually the first magician that we ever seen. <laughs> now, you do not have the means to criticize what your parents, uh, laid, uh, your, whatever your parents said to you because uh, you do not have the faculty to challenge them back. So you accept it. Now, every time you say, I am hungry, food will be served. So you, you, you grow more comfortable with the concept of I uh, to survive, to get food. Um, so we touch upon the period of, um, of birth of the ego. And now we're going to move on to the second topic, which is the, the thriving period of the ego. And this is the period where most of us are in. It's a period of feeling isolated from the world. We learn the concept of labeling objects that we see with symbols, no longer pointing, so we can talk about it. So instead of pointing to it and without saying anything, I could say that this is a phone. Uh, this is a microphone. Uh, and when I say it, you agree with me that this is a microphone and this is a phone. Um, the phone is not me um, because I label it as a phone. Um, and I label myself as I. So the phone is not I. Therefore, there's a sense of separation of the phone and I. Now, this explains why we feel isolated from the world because of this illusion, um, because of this superpower that we have of labeling things with symbols. Um, <clears throat> now, this is very addictive. Why? Uh, because when I say that I am Ming to, to you, uh, you will understand that I'm talking about myself. And to me, that's a very nice feeling. <laughs> Therefore, um, because of this positive feedback loop, uh, you, uh, you kept believing in the concept of I uh, because it's your way of getting others to understand you. <laughs> um, so we touch upon the thriving period of the ego. And now I'm going to move on to the last bit of the topic, which is the awakening period of the ego. This is the period of the realization that the ego is just an illusion. Just as I said that the ego is a symbol of convenience for understanding each other as humans. Uh, money is a symbol convenient for bartering. Money is just a concept. Uh, it is an illusion. It's not real. Now, let me give you an example why I say so. When you buy groceries and you fill a cart with edible food to survive, why is it that sometimes it is so hard to part away with the paper money in your wallet? Um, why? Because you believe that the value of the paper money is more than the edible food in the cart. Um, but you do know that the food in the cart is what you really need to survive, not the paper money in your wallet. <laughs> so if you do, uh, you have really fallen into the illusion of money. <laughs> now, in the same way, uh, if you believe that your ego has more value than anything else, and you truly believe that it is real, uh, it's like choosing to survive over paper money than edible food. Now you can see where that, that contradiction is. <laughs> the day that you realize the illusion of money or uh, believing your symbols 
are real. Uh, that day is a step closer to be awakened from the illusion of the ego. So that is the topic um, of the three stages of the ego. We, we, we touch upon the birth, uh, the, the thriving period, and finally, the, uh, the awakening period of the ego. Thank you.